Nick Bayer, welcome to an IMO run- Are you fine? You know we're filming. Welcome to an IMO rundown where we look at the IMO that you did yesterday. Yeah, it's yeah. been a while, sorry. Yeah, why? Well, you've forgotten how to be on camera. Yeah. Uh, talk to me and to them about what you spoke about last night. Yes, so we had an IMO that was to do with Palmer Lucky, who's the founder of Oculus, mm -hmm. and the, uh, let's just call it kerfuffle he stirred up um, by being a supporter, or being sort of discovered that he was a supporter of a group called Nimble America that post uh, what are called shit posts and meme magic, uh, which are essentially based just bad internet jokes mm. that people, that are so bad they're funny. Mm. Um, but it's the way he did it, basically. He has a lot of money and he went out there and supported this group uh, and sort of promoted their negative internet usage, yeah. let's just call it that, uh, with the specific goal of targeting Hillary Clinton in this case yes. and supporting Trump through that. Yes. Um, yeah, and the internet reacted and we had an opinion about that. I had an opinion, which was that I think that does some bad uh, PR for his company yep. and I think he should therefore step down from it or at least distance himself from Oculus. Well, luckily the internet also reacted to you. Mm. Uh, so our they first did. reaction came in from Thomas Campbell. I see a lot of comments that are complaining about Good Game venturing into politics, in addition to the usual ABC of communists, friends. <laughs> I, for one, like to know where my money is going, and I'd rather it not go towards funding the worst of the internet. So here Thomas is saying, we'll break it into two things. Yeah. Number one, there's lots of comments about Good Game venturing into politics, to which I say to those people, bugger off. Politics is in everything, everything is about politics, that and not true. just like people who are running, but the politics of life, and about society, and about culture. And specifically in this case, it's to do with something that is tech and game focused. And we are a show that is tech and game focused, therefore... It was the perfect time to delve into politics! Exactly, we had one chance to do it, and now we're angry about it. Tom but... Thomas is very happy we did it. Yes. Thank you, Thomas. The second part of this, I for one would like to know where my money is going, and I'd rather it not go towards funding the worst of the internet. Hmm. So he likes that you... Shot a little spotlight on that old Oculus bad boy. Yeah, I think we were talking a lot in the office about the fact that because this has happened, would we all not go out and buy an Oculus? Mm. And, I mean, it was difficult to reach a decision because in one sense you're thinking, is the money I spend on this Oculus going straight to Palmer Lucky, who is therefore moving that money into funding a, a group that does a lot of negative things? Yeah. And I don't think that's really the case. Well, it's not the case because he sold the company. Yes, so I think what it actually means, it's more to do with the fact that Palmer Lucky mm. represents a company that employs people, that is trying to take steps forward in the industry, and by you know, associating himself with a negative group or with a group that does something inherently just disruptive. Mm. He is, you know, I think he's sabotaging himself. I, I, I so often enjoy having an answer to something but being willing to, you know, open up my mind to other, to other avenues. Yeah. I am 100% split on this. Oh, like, really? I, can, I cannot, there is 50% of my body goes, it doesn't matter. Buy an Oculus because you're not buying it directly from him. Yeah. He sold the company on Facebook. He already made his money. He's still involved, like, as an employee of Facebook. But this, like, him buying, you buying an Oculus from him is not going to put, like, money directly into his pocket. No. And that the the product and the, the people who work there who, who had nothing to do with this should not suffer. The other 50% of me goes, absolutely do not buy an Oculus because this is the thing we keep saying is vote with your wallet. Yeah. That, unfortunately... Everything in life is controlled by money. And so if you if you decide to not funnel your money into things that you do not agree with, then you then people will see that a company failed because someone who was the head of this company was devoted to making the internet and therefore the world a worse place. And so then it will encourage other people to not do that because they want to continue making money. I think it's that, uh, that it's that age old sort of mentality that it's just, you know, it's my vote in this case by buying an Oculus mm. or just supporting the company. And in the mix of things, I don't really matter. But the more people do take a stand against this kind mm. of stuff, the less it just becomes normality. And in this case, I think what's happening is uh, he's finding a way for this shit posting, for these memes to become focused and directed at someone and become some form of abuse. Mm. And I think the more we let that slide, because, oh, that one's fine, that one's fine, that one's fine. After Slippery slope. Yeah, it builds up and eventually something that's not all right will get through and then it becomes exactly that, abuse. Silent green, that's where it becomes. <laughs> uh, our next comment came in from Joseph James Daniels, 
who says, why should his political beliefs have any sway on what he does for a living or how he works? Why should the public have any say in what he should or shouldn't do because of his political beliefs? The whole point of democracy is to have fair representation. This isn't an issue he brought onto himself. This is an issue where people dumped on him because they don't like his political views. Demanding that he quit or stand down, etc., is ridiculous. If everyone voted the same way, then you would have a dictatorship on your hands because there is no way on earth you can have that happen without forcing people to vote that way. And here I thought we'd move on from Nazism. So Joseph, can I be the first one to say thank you very much for referencing Hitler? <laughs> Isn't that the rule of the internet? It's Everything will always come down to just referencing Nazis, <sighs> eventually. Um, look, I think at this stage you could argue that, oh, he can do whatever he wants with his money, mm -hmm. he's got free speech, free will, all that kind of stuff. But this is Palmer Lucky. This is someone who's in the public spotlight because of his success. Um, he has this large amount of money, 700 million, I think it was. Mm. Um, you know, he is the founder of this piece of innovative tech. He is in the public eye, therefore he has a responsibility, whether he likes it or not. He has this responsibility and therefore he has to use that uh, for, well he doesn't have to use it for, well he should use it for good. Mm. He should use it for good. The man was on the cover of Time Magazine for God's sakes. And here's the thing. No one cares that he's a Trump supporter. I mean, like, I, I think all Trump supporters are idiots, but it, that's not what we're actually talking about here. What we're talking about is the fact that shitposting, I think, is a terrible thing. Yeah. Because what it's doing, it's not encouraging discourse, it's not encouraging conversation, it's not opening people up to ideas, it is actively shutting down conversation. Mm. People try to say something on the internet and then they get bombarded with just this inane bullshit crap that means that you are you don't say anything, no discourse happens, and that it becomes something that becomes abusive and harassment to people who are trying to have a discussion, who are trying to figure out how to live their life. And then when you bundle that with politics, which already you know enjoys slander and dragging people people through yeah. the dirt to make themselves look better. That is something I can't get behind. Yeah. That's the thing I hate about politics, is specifically campaigns that are used to target and, you know, drag their opposition down, and then you add shit posting to this as another form of ammunition mm. to, 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 to belittle your competition. I just think it's just a, an area we don't want to get into, especially as gamers. And why should the public have any say in what he does or shouldn't do because of his political beliefs? I don't think it's just for him. I think it's for everyone. Yeah. I don't care if you vote for Trump. I care if the way that you do it is that you are trying to actively like destroy other people. That's the problem. It's not because he has money and that that's why we're focusing on him. It's just because he's someone that everyone knows and so this story came out and people were like, oh, this makes sense. But if I could actively go out and just talk to every single person who shit posts on the internet and go, why are you doing this? Like, I'm fine if you have your own opinion. Just express your opinion in a way that doesn't clamp down on others, then that's fine. Like, we could do that. And so it's not just because Palmer has money. It's actually because this is a conversation everyone should be having to become better people. You can have your own opinion. Just be a better person about it. Our next question comes in from Alan. I'm gonna say Biala? I know, right? How dare someone do their own things with their own money? Such deplorable behavior. Thanks for agreeing with us. Yeah, I know. I, I can't imagine that he's at all being sarcastic there. And the final question uh, or comment comes in from Max Green, who says, why you know like memes? <laughs> I love memes. I lo this is this is where I'm torn a bit because I really actually I take that back. I'm not torn. I like memes. I think they're a fun new sort of media that's popped up through the internet, um, and I think they have a you know they're juvenile and they're silly and they're, that's why they exist. Mm. I just think that shit posting is is not memes. Yeah. Shit posting is as we said. It's you know targeted. It's it's trying to be disruptive. It's negative. Whereas memes are this juvenile space that are fun to play in, and I think you know they should exist in the internet. They just need to steer clear of having an agenda and steer clear of doing anything that can be labelled as abusive and slander. And that's what I think the main difference there is. There Max Green, go. I know like memes. I don't like memes at all. What? I think, yeah, I'm, I love you. You are I'm, a meme, look at you. I know and I hate it. I, <laughs> I think that they're lazy, I think that they're predictable, I think that humour is based on surprise and that memes are always... Like memes are just this shorthand for I know something and you know something, so therefore it's like refer it's all reference humour where that you just go... That feels good though. It's, no, it doesn't. It Well, yeah, it does, but that's because you think that you're being funny, you think that you're being clever, but you're not. You're actually just referencing something that everyone else knows. You're not coming up with an original thought, you're just recycling content. And that's what the internet becomes. It just becomes this thing where like, it's just, it's just the same crap and someone goes, oh, danks, and you go, what does danks even mean? Just say thanks or f*** off! This is why you suck at parties. That is true. Alright, that's it for our IMO discussion. Thank you very much, Goose, for coming in. Oh, anytime. I enjoyed, I, I, I enjoyed agreeing with you. I love when, I love when we get to agree. I think you, you had more of a rant than I did there, so, uh, really you know, you're welcome.
All right, that's it for today's episode of Puck by Pocket Tears. Nick Wyatt. Goose out. I'm so angry. Just calm down. Just come up with something original and I'll be happy with you. <laughs> <laughs>